in the early 70s, you couldn't pick up an album and look at the liner notes without seeing these guys' names. I would buy records just because they were on it. The creative input of these session guys cannot be overstated. It can't be overstated. Russ Kunkel. Danny Korchmar. And it's too late, baby, now it's too late. Lee Sklar. Wadi. They were just musicians we knew, and they gradually became legendary session musicians. My main goal was to not get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Tapestry, the whole thing was done in three weeks. Three songs in one day, and we didn't piece yeah. together the best. No, like, it wasn't overdubbed. Look, we were all in our 20s. No, there was no sleeping. Each album became like a, what's the next thing they're going to do? Not only did they give birth to this music, they're as much the author of these songs as the artist they did it with. Ego goes out the window. Well, I'm not sure that's true. I have a huge ego. As well. <laughs> I could get hipper, younger people. In, in this hotel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these are the people that play it best. All I could express is admiration for these guys. Four truly great players, all of them masters of their instrument. In hindsight, I was just happy to be there. I've got a band full of brothers that love me. I'm proud of all of it. <laughs>